You know the worst thing about pity parties, besides the fact that they're pitiful? Nobody brings any gifts. Man, if I go to a party, think about party. I like to party, I like to have fun, I like to hang out with friends. Yeah, I like to kick it a little bit, enjoy. But you get none of that at a pity party. All you get is more pity. Also, think about parties, think about a birthday party. by smiling, bringing good gifts, right? Making you feel good, empowering you. Yeah, it's your day, baby. It's a birthday party, it's your party. But once again, the opposite is a pity party because the only thing people bring, the only gifts they bring is more pity. I don't want to go to that party. Well, you don't want to go to that party either. But I bring all this up in my way. <laughs> I'm saying, how many times do you go to pity parties? How many times do you have a pity party? Now, I know I shouldn't be pointing a finger saying, you, 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 you. I say that, I should say we, because I'm guilty of that as well. Until I started talking about these things, I'd have my own pity parties. Now, I never knew they were pity parties. I never called them pity parties. But it seemed like when I had a pity party, the only thing I ever attracted was more pity. That's the only gifts people brought. They didn't bring happiness. They didn't bring joy. They didn't bring love. They didn't bring, yeah, inspiration. It was just pity. Because you are and you attract what you send out. That's who you become. You know, you're the percentage, the combined makeup of the four people you surround yourself with the most. So if you surround yourself with what I like to call engines, people are talking about the future, they're planning, they're entrepreneurs, they're doing things to empower, inspire, and help others. They can't wait to talk about the next thing they're doing. And that's what you're gonna start doing. You're gonna be empowered to do more of that. However, you surround yourself with people that constantly talk about other people, talk about how bad life is, how bad things are, how bad their kids are, and they use words like entitled and victim and offended and owed, which by the way, I recently did a video on that, you'll have to check out to remove those four words from your mental vocabulary. They do nothing but bring you down. That's in a pity party, wallowing in self-pity. You know, Zig Ziglar used to say, unfortunately, a lot of people in society suffer from plum disease. What is plum disease? I could probably do a whole video on this too. But plum disease is poor little old me. Poor little old me. Now, if we've got issues and struggles and challenges that we need help with, please reach out. But most of the people watching this video, we've, we've taken a few shots or right hooks of reality, boom, left uppercuts of truth. And it seems like the pops just keep coming and coming and coming and coming. Well, my thing is, when that happens, we often get beat down. As Rocky says, the world, society, and all sunshine and rainbows. It's a mean, nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it'll beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. And it's true. The shots just keep coming. And then we get in that limiting belief. Plum disease sets in. And before we know it, we're having a pity party. And before we know it, people are bringing more pity. Before we know it, it's totally pitiful. But my whole goal with these videos and inspiring you, because you spent time with me today, I'm gonna give you everything I've got to empower you to get rid of that plum disease, to walk away from those pity parties, to make sure you never host another pity party again. And I'll be honest, it's also to help remind me so I don't host those pity parties. I wanna surround myself with the people, the engines that are pushing, not the anchors that are pulling me back. The people are talking about the future and about empowering others, about what they're doing, what books they're reading, how they're making a difference in the world. Not people that are talking about other people, bringing others down, complaining, using those four horrible words, entitled, victim, offended, node. Oh, let's talk about what I can do, what books I'm reading, who I'm surrounding myself with. Yeah, that's how we break out of that plum disease. That's how we break free from that pity party. And that's how we make sure we never host another of those pity parties again. Sound good? So let's have those celebrations. Let's have those parties of what we're doing to make the world, to make society a happier, healthier, and safer place to live. Not pity parties. So the next time you find yourself around a pitiful pity party, politely excuse yourself or do what you can to make a change. And if you can't, that's okay. Make sure you're in the right frame of mind first because you can't fill anybody else up from an empty cup. You gotta make sure you're empowered first. Good, good, good? All right, so stay away from those pity parties and don't host them yourself. Thank you so very much as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment on the video. Make sure you check out our podcast. Make sure you check out our website. Make sure you check out our books, Becoming Bullyproof and I Believe in Me, Positive Affirmation for Kids. All the links are in the description. Thanks again, folks. God bless you and your loved ones. Chat real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.